Hey everyone, it's Megan here from A Cover Lover. Uh, I've been on kind of a little hiatus, but um, so lately it's just been in my mailboxes. I was going to post a review of Wither, but I didn't get to read the last part of it because I got it from Simon & Schuster. And I was trying to finish up reading it when it released, so I need to go buy Wither so I can finish it and post a review. Um, I honestly haven't read a book in like a week and a half, which may be even two weeks. I was reading Savannah Gray. I forget exactly who that's by, but it kind of put me off of reading for a while. I don't know. I really don't care for it. But anyways, it's almost four in the morning, so I'm going to do this real fast, this in my mailbox. Uh... I don't even know where to start. Like, I really don't. I'm really tired. We just, my husband and I got back from a barbecue slash party. And I'm just going to try to run through this real quick. Okay. Um, all of these I purchased except for one. And I won one book. So, I'm going to start with Fade by Lisa McMahon. I got this for... $3.98. I bought Wake not long ago and so I got this one. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's marks up here. See? Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about, but it's okay. It'll work. I'm still able to read it. Also got in the mail The Body Finder by Kimberly Dirty. I won the Desires of the Dead a couple weeks ago and I needed to get this one. I got it for like $6.98 on Amazon. It was a bargain book. So I'm excited about that. Hey! Good crying. Um, also got City of Bones by Cassandra Clare from Barnes & Noble. This is book one of the Mortal Instruments series. Um... I have City of Ashes in paperback, which I need to get in hardback because I can't stand books being different covers. Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. Gorgeous. So, I have this one. I have City of Ashes. I still need City of Glass, but I'm getting there. Also got in the mail this week, City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. I pre-ordered this. And it comes with an exclusive ne never before seen letter from Jace to Clary. And I was lucky enough to get the signed edition. Awesome like that. So yes, gorgeous. I love that they're luminescent. Or iridescent, I guess is the word. But I have not read these yet. I know. I know, I'm horrible, but I think I'm going to actually start City of Bones tomorrow or sometime soon because I really want to read them. So, yeah, I got all those. Um, sorry. Also, this week, the rest of these I got from bookcloseouts.com. I got them for $2.99 each. And the first one is Breathe, Breathe My Name by R.A. Nelson. Love the color. Cover. Gorgeous. And looks good. I believe it is. I'm not sure what year this came out. I think 2009? 2007. Okay. So yeah, I got that one. $2.99. Bookcloseouts.com. I also got The Devouring by Simon Holt. And this looks really good. I actually didn't realize... Is this the one that's in the series? I'm not sure. I know it came with a sticky from bookcloseouts.com. It says Hatchet. And I'm not really sure what that's about. Not really sure at all what that's about. So, it has a sticky. I don't know why. I also got Hold Still by Nina LaCour. And this is a speak novel. 
believe this one is about uh, a girl having to go through and deal with her best friend's suicide. Uh, I think. Yeah. I like these. They're raised letters. Feel so cool. So. Also got Wondrous Strange by Leslie Livingston. Um, this is a fairy book and I've heard it's amazing. I actually usually go off the story sirens, recommendations, or reviews. So she said this is absolutely wonderful. And I can't wait to read it. Wait to read it. I think this is the one that's in a series. Maybe? I really don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know, but there is a blurb from Story Siren on the front cover. And Story Siren's blurb is right here. Right there. So, Wonder Strange. Go check out the Story Siren's review about it if you're interested. It's fairy. I haven't read a fairy book yet, so I'm super excited. The last one I bought from the bookcloseouts.com is Possessions by Nancy Holder. And this is the one that's in a series that I didn't know about. And there's the other books right there. The Evil Within and Pretty Little Devils. So that is Possessions. And this is about evil girls, apparently. Not really sure. All I know is it says there's something about evil girls. Have only all dealt with evil girls? I think so. But. Hmm. So, yeah. And I won Moonglass by Jesse Kirby. It is an ARC, Advanced Reader's Copy. I really love the cover. It's very purple, blue, pink, gorgeous. Jesse Kirby. Um. I forgot who I won this from, so please forgive me for not remembering. It's really late. It's like four in the morning, and I'm not really. I forgot where my piece of paper went that said who it's from, and I don't feel like looking it up right now. But if I have time, I'll link it below. And that's all I got this week, book related. Actually, I don't know if you can see back there, but there's bookshelf. That's one bookshelf of the three that I bought. So put that up yesterday and hopefully be putting up the other two tomorrow and get my bookshelves all organized and then I'll have some pictures or a video for you guys. So oh other than book related I got new shoes. I know you guys don't care but these are gorgeous and I have to show somebody. I love them. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Yes. Unfortunately, they will be going back. I'll be exchanging them for a half size up because they smush my toes. So, that's about it. That's all I have for this week. And I'm going to go check all you guys' in my mailboxes out. See ya.